Hi, and welcome to Backer Breaks It Down. In this episode, we continue to work with the number E. We're going to write some function formulas. So let's get started. So in this scenario, we have a town with an initial population of 3,000 people. Okay. Now, in these six scenarios, we have to determine whether the particular situation can be represented with a linear function, a non-continuous exponential function, or a continuous exponential function. And I'm going to tell you how we're going to know for sure which one. So linear functions, remember that they have a constant rate of change. Exponential functions have a percent rate of change. So our non-continuous exponential will be a simple percent. Our continuous exponential will be a continuous percent. Like they will actually use the word continuous. So once you determine whether you should write a linear, a non-continuous, or a continuous exponential function, you'll then need to pay attention to that rate of change, whether it's increasing or decreasing, because that's also going to determine what our function should look like, okay? So let's analyze these scenarios. So scenario A says it shrinks at a continuous rate of 4% per year. So did you catch it? They said continuous. So that means we're dealing with a continuous exponential function. Okay, and they said it's shrinking. So that means it's a decreasing continuous exponential function. So my population function is going to look similar to y equals a times e to the negative kt power. But it's for population, so we're using p. And the initial population, remember, is 3,000. And since they said continuous, we're using base E. They said it's shrinking, so that means our exponent's going to be negative. And we're going to turn this percent into a decimal, so 0 0.04. And of course, don't forget the T for each year. So it's simple. Like they used the word continuous and you were given a percent rate of change, right? So let's take a look at the next one. So in the next one, it says it grows by 200 people per year. Yeah, that's a constant rate of change, making this one linear, okay? Furthermore, it says it's growing, so it's an increasing linear function. So it's gonna look similar to this, y equals b plus m times t. So we're going to use p for population. The initial population is 3,000. They said it's growing, so we're going to have plus. And then our rate of change is 200 times t for the per year. See? So far, so good. Scenario c minimizes by 50 people every 52 weeks, okay? So first off, I do not want you to be thrown off by this every 52 weeks, because honestly, that is just another way of saying per year. There are 52 weeks in a year, so every 52 weeks, you're talking every year, okay? That's all that means. So what kind of function are we dealing with here? Yeah, once again, we're working with a linear function because 50 people, that is a constant rate of change. And they said it's minimizing. So that means we're looking at a decreasing linear function, y equals b minus m times t. But we're using p for population. Our initial population is 3,000. And it's minimizing, so minus. 50 people, and then T for that every 52 weeks, which is simply every year. On to the next. Escalates 
at a continuous rate of 6% annually. Oh, so you caught that rather quickly this time. Continuous, so we're looking once again at a continuous exponential function. Escalates indicates it's increasing. So it's gonna look like this, y equals a times e to the kt power. We're using p for population. The initial population is 3,000. We're using E because of that continuous rate. It's escalating, so our exponent's positive, and it's going to be positive 0 0.06 times T. Excellent. Number E, if that makes any sense, um, diminishes by 4% every 365 days. So that every 365 days, don't let that throw you off. That just means every year. Diminishing by 4%, what do you think? That is definitely a non-continuous exponential function. Diminishing means it's decreasing, okay? So we're gonna have P is equal to 3,000, and then it's diminishing. So our base is equal to one minus R. So I wanna go one minus 0 0.04, and that's 0.96. So that's going to be the base of my function. Okay, 0.96 times t. I don't know what's going on with my stylus here. I am. I apologize. Okay. Thank goodness we're on the last one. And the last one says boosts by six percent every 12 months. So that every 12 months is another way of saying every year. Okay. Boost by 6%, I agree. We're looking at non-continuous exponential and it's growing. So y equals a times one plus r to the t power. So we have p for population is equal to 3000 times one plus 0 0.06, right? And so we're looking at 1.06 to the t power, okay? And that's how we write linear and exponential functions, whether they're base B or base E. Um, it all comes down to that rate of change. If it's constant, that means it's a linear function. If it's a percentage, it could be our non-continuous or continuous exponential functions. The bottom line is if they use that word continuous followed by a percent rate, then it's a continuous exponential and that's when you're gonna have the base E. And that's how Backer breaks it down.